Hey everyone, Kaivox here. Today we're going to be talking about our Harry Potter collection. More precisely, we're going to be talking about uh, our wand collection that we have. Uh, today, we're, this is just part one. Um, we're still going to talk about some of the other ones. It's too many wands to talk about all in one video, so we're going to break it down into a couple more. Um, I'll put some links around here somewhere uh, once the other ones come up, um, so just feel free to click on those. And uh, today, we're going to be talking about are um let me grab it uh, uh, dumbledore's army plaque whoa, uh collection that we have um it's six wands uh it's actually cheaper if you're gonna buy all of these uh, it's actually cheaper to buy the plaque itself um it actually has uh two mounting parts right here um on the back that just hang it's a little heavy. I would say if you're gonna hang it somewhere, make sure you um, you find a stud that you're gonna hang it to. Um, and, and I don't mean uh, I don't mean myself, obviously. I mean a, a, a wall a wall stud. Um, like make sure you nail it in to a uh, piece of wood on the wall. Um, otherwise, it will definitely rip down your sheetrock. Still haven't figured out where I'm gonna hang mine, uh, but let's let's start talking about these wands. Um, Okay, so uh, let's start off with uh, Luna Lovegood's wand. So what's pretty cool about this wand is, one, uh, it has this very unique color to it, uh, which is, it's almost a, like a, like a yellowy brownish color, which looks nice. And it has this uh, acorn and, uh, and branch design on the, on the handle part of it. Um, it's, <sighs> It's a little bit on the boring side, but the design looks gorgeous on it. It's actually about 14 and 7 eighths inches long. Um, something to know. Uh, it's the only way to get it is actually through this uh, this collector's edition thing, the um, the Dumbledore's Army pack, I guess. All right, let's move on to the next. Neville Longbottom's wand. Uh, again, this has a just a regular. Um, end to it where it's just pretty much straight, but the handle part of it um, has this really unique kind of reminds me of uh, Slughorn's wand. Uh, it has this very unique twist at the end um, Kind of bulbousy, uh, but it feels really good in your hand. It's almost exactly 13 inches long All right, let's move on to the next Ginny Weasley uh, what's weird about her wand, actually, is it's completely black. Um, at first glance, it kind of looks like Snape's wand. Also, it also has this twist like Neville's did, but it's a lot more uniform. Neville's was more of a organic look. This is more of a machined, perfectly, um, kind of like a piece of metal that was heated up and bent. Um, and then it has this nice diamondy pattern um, right before the straight part of the wand. This wand is 14 and 1 16th long. All right, let's move on. Ron Weasley's. It has this weird bulbous design um, at the handle. Uh, it goes right in your hand. It makes you want to hold the wand a little bit more uh, towards the, the, the end of it as opposed to have it in your hand fully, um, kind of like this. As opposed to this, it makes you want to do this. Um, it almost looks like Harry's wand a little bit. At first glance, it has the same wood kind of design, but shorter. It's like a baby brother to to uh, to Harry's wand. Um, it also has this unique rib kind of wavy stripes on it. Uh, I, I like this wand, minus the fact that it makes me want to hold it at the very end. This wand is 14 inches. Exactly. Hermione, Hermione's wand. Hermione Granger. So Hermione's wand's um, another, they're pretty much all unique, but a big thing about hers is that it has these branches with leaves uh, working its way almost up the whole wand. Probably about two thirds of the wand is covered in this uh, in this branch pattern. Um, it has this little nub at the end that's just flat. Um, her wand is 
14 and three quarters inches long. All right, let's move on. I don't know if anybody was actually waiting for this one, but uh, the hero of the of the the movies and the books, Harry's wand. Uh, this wand is 13 and three quarters inches long. So definitely not one of my favorite wands, but it's build quality and the way that they designed it is very, very nice. So this wooden pattern that they put, this trunk pattern that they put on the handle just looks extremely nice. Um, it definitely looks, at first glance, it looks real. It looks like real wood. The, the paint job on it, very nice. It's, it's a nice wand. It definitely stands out. And the only one that kind of looks like this out of all of them is maybe Ron's wand. If we were to compare them, they kind of have that first at first glance that uh, bulbous end on it and then it kind of tapers down towards the end. It kind of looks like wood. Uh, Ron's looks less like a tree trunk uh, and more maybe like a bone. So that was uh, part one of the collection. Um, I'm gonna put some links around here and maybe here uh, once the other videos are up for the rest of the wands. Um, I'm not sure how many we have. We have quite a few, uh, but I'm also gonna put some links down below where if you guys wanna get some, um, I'll put down the links to the ones that I have in this video. Uh, so thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys can subscribe so you guys can get some more videos and uh, let me know what you think down below. Thanks for watching. I'm Kai Vox. See you next time.